What is up, everybody? This is round two of our little Q&A show we like to call Live Rounds with No Hook. Why in the world is it called Live Rounds with No Hook? The reason it is called Live Rounds with No Hook is because we are focused 1,000% on providing all value with no hook. Well, what does no hook mean? No hook means we're not gonna ask you to buy something. We're not gonna ask you to subscribe to something. We're not gonna ask you to do anything. We're just providing value for the sake of providing value because we feel that is the right thing to do. In the comments below, go ahead and ask a question. If you do so, we're gonna send you a message, try to get your phone number, and then we will call you and bring you on live. Hey, Tyler, what's going on? <laughs> I walked away from my phone and I didn't see. How are you doing? I am doing well. I'm glad to have the first lady of hustle on the line. Hey, thank you. <laughs> what's that gonna be well, like? Well, tomorrow, so my business is, um, you know, Mommy Size Fitness, a company yep. I created five years ago. Yep. So I am, you know, I have over 5,000 followers on my Facebook account, over 6,000 on my Instagram. Nice. Like I said, I feel I tend to be all over the place when I talk. Yeah. So I know I have to write something down. I just don't know if I should start with just do a little bit of intro and not make it too long and then say question answer or just I don't even know like where to go. Do you want it to be, do you, do you want it to be wildly successful? Absolutely. <laughs> I've, then I've got, I've got just the thing for you. What's that? Get on there. This will be tomorrow, right? Yeah. Get on there and tell a story, a brutally, brutally honest story yeah. about your life that's painful, that's like hard to tell, and just, oh. let, and just let the conversation go from there. Like something that you may have never even told anybody on a public platform or yeah. maybe never even told anybody, period. But something, I mean, I'm just thinking out loud, like something about being a mom, something about, right. Absolutely. about your journey with fitness and be brutally transparent, like brutally transparent. Oh my gosh. And it's going to be extremely good, yeah. uncomfortable, but I promise you every single person on there will be impacted more than you know. So what advice, you know, I've really ever done sales. Would you give someone like me stepping into sales, a sales career for the first time? or looking to step into that career, I should say, really. With our company, we almost, we would almost rather have people come into our career uh, opportunity that don't have sales experience than the ones that do, because the ones that do, all they have is bad habits. <laughs> sure. um, and we love, we love taking people that are fresh um, into sales, especially, we especially would rather not have someone that's been in insurance sales before, since that's what we sell, right. um, because they're just chock full of bad habits um, and things that they've uh, done over time that we're gonna completely try to eradicate once they get here, so we'd rather take someone fresh anyways. But uh, I think yep. following a system, following a system okay. and not trying to recreate um, what has already been proven to be successful. Uh, the people that have come into our career, which is sales and specifically with insurance, uh, the ones that don't make it are the ones that come in, they see the system, they learn the system, and then they do their own thing, and it never works out. Um, that, that, was the, that was the sole reason why I was able to be successful uh, with this business is that literally I just said, oh, that's how you do it? Great, and put my head down and did it. All the... Albie. Nope. Albie. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? How are you? I'm ready to go. Hello. Hey, is this Marshall? Hello, Tina. Is this Marshall? Good evening. Yes, yes, it's Marshall. Hey, Marshall, this is Tyler Harris. I'm uh, calling you. Yeah. We're uh, live here on Facebook. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you for calling. Absolutely. I'm very happy to call you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Did you have a, a question? Yes, I have a question to ask. I'd like to become a software engineer. You'd like to but become a software engineer? Yes. So, in my opinion, you have to do everything you can to scrape together enough money to start getting some training and some expertise in that area. 
Um, the biggest piece of advice that I could give you, are you on Instagram, social media? Yeah. Yeah, so, so what I would do, I would start seeking out any software engineers in your area. And there may be a handful, there may be hundreds, but I would start seeking them out and sending them direct messages on Instagram. And I would tell them, and I would tell them that I want to work for you for free. It's so hot in here. Hey, what's up, Daniel? This is Tyler Harris, man. How are you? Hey, Tyler. How are you? I am doing well. Where are you from, man? I'm from uh, Los Angeles, California. Are we live right now? We are live on the air. Oh, nice. Yes, nice. sir. I'm just starting off. Um, in doing all the social media and uh, trying to get kind of like my, my name and my brand out there. Yep. Uh, I run a sales team for my company, but I also want to brand myself and kind of like seeing where I want to start. I started off like posting a lot of different stuff and it got really repetitive. Okay. And um, I got kind of burnt out in kind of posting the same things that other people are posting. Yep. Uh, so I took all that stuff down and I'm trying to restart that all over again. Okay. Uh, I've been watching you, I've been watching like Gary and uh, a bunch of other people Yeah. and seeing what you guys do. Mm -hmm. And that would fit with my brand and my, my style. So I kind of wanted your input on like how you started and what your advice would be would be for me for someone that just brand new into the social media marketing and all that. What what's the end goal? Like what do you want to happen? Like you go do this and you do it extremely well and it goes awesome, what happens? Like what's the end result that you're looking for? I guess the un end result is um, I wanna get into the coaching and business side of real estate. And I know that there's a lot of people out there like Tom Ferry and other people yep. but um, I wanted to specifically target real estate agents um, and start some type of like business coaching sales group. Dude, I'm so glad you called today. You know why? I am, I am speaking at an event next Friday. Uh, it's June 1st in Huntington Beach. Oh, and, wow. it, and it's on how to build a personal brand for people in the real estate industry. Wow, and, what timing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a ticket for free. Seriously? Yep, we'll do a ticket for free, wow. man. It's, out, it's, so at the, uh, it's at the Pasea Hotel and Resort. You know where that is? Uh-huh. It's right on the um, ocean there in the Huntington area, Beach. But yeah. So it's all day Friday, um, and we've got like 16 speakers. We've got some of the top real estate uh, professionals coming in and it's all about it's called disruptive innovation and it's part wow. of the disrupt tour and the whole part of disruptive innovation is about disrupting an industry which you know is extremely traditional and stuck in its ways and kind of stuck in the stone age quite frankly and literally everything that we're going to be going over from the very first talk of the day which is me which is going to be on how to build a personal brand is specifically for people that are in real estate financial services and insurance Wow! Thanks. Yep, I got like goosebumps right now, dude. And um, so there's a there's an awesome that. there's another awesome guy that I'll connect you with when when I meet you there. His name's Andy Dane Carter, incredible okay. guy. He wrote a book called 100 Doors, and uh, awesome book for uh, real estate. But he's going to be speaking there as well. Uh, there's a guy. Uh, I think his Instagram is Dex in the City. Um, he's one of the um, uh, what do you call him? Um, we call those million dollar listing guys from New York. And uh, okay. just a bunch of incredible people that are gonna be speaking. Um, a woman by the name of Mashid, Mashid um, from Las Vegas. She's one of the top realtors in Las Vegas, um, building a personal brand. Uh, but yeah, man, it's next Friday the 1st. And if you shoot me a DM, I've got a promo code that'll, uh, it's like a, I don't know, I don't know how much they're charging for tickets, but it'll get you in for free. I'd wow, be more than happy. Thank you so much. I that was like beyond what I expected. I just called in. No, yeah, and tips. and the thing is, like, I could sit here and I could give you an answer, and you know, it uh -huh. would it would be a real answer that you could use. But like, man, I'd much rather you come and sit there all day and listen to other people that are in the real estate business give you the give you the real advice. 
Um, well, I'll clear out my schedule and yeah, man. that at night. Dude, that's awesome. Sure. I can't wait to meet you there. We'll take a picture and we'll post it in the comments on this uh, <laughs> on this live feed, Sounds all right? Good. Make sure you send yeah, me a message, though. So Make sure you send me a message, like, right now. Because when we get off of it, I'll shoot you the uh, promo code. Because I don't want anybody else to know that promo code. <laughs> and I just want to thank you for, uh, you're one of those guys out there that are so real and thank so you. personable. So it's easy to kind of, you know, see your content and really relate to it. So I, I appreciate that. Dude, I, I, I appreciate you saying that, man. And if you think, if you think my content is real now, wait till you see episode 100 tonight. And uh, wait till mm -hmm. you see the content coming out moving forward because we're about to take real to the next level. So, uh, man, I appreciate you, uh, appreciate you uh, being on here, and uh, I look forward to seeing you next Friday. All right, see you next Friday. Thank right, you, sir. Yeah, see you, bud. All right, bye. Bye. Dude, that was the best way we could have closed out this live rounds. Every time we do this, I sit here at the end and I say, "Holy crap, man! Live Q and A is the best thing in the world." We just talked to somebody from Nigeria. We just talked to somebody and gave him a free ticket to come out to an event that was specifically built for the question that the guy had. Jason, thank you, and Kaylin for putting that together so magically to have that be the last, <laughs> the last caller of the day. Um, we finally got Albie on the line, and uh, man, some great conversations. Kim and Tegan and, and uh, Justin and all these guys. So um, I can't say it enough. I love doing this live Q&A and, and providing real value. Um, on the stuff that matters, which is the stuff that you guys actually care about and the questions that you guys actually have. So, so that's it, guys. That is round number two, live rounds with no hook. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. We're going to be doing these again and again and again until people stop having questions, which is probably going to be never. Friends.